Vamos. Hey everybody, this is AJ. And this is Ernie S. And we're two pro wrestling gamer boys and I didn't just have two boys. Yeah, just two two boys. Two two <laughs> two brothers uh fighting <laughs> to stop the end of the world. Then uh, Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Two brothers in a van. In a van. <laughs> and then nuns show up. And then, wait, really? Nuns show up? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Mexican Armada <laughs> with tomato guns. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, today, uh, as you guys voted, uh, we're going to, well, we're also going to talk about this late. Sorry about that. You know, very, very busy. And also, then my microphone, or no, my headset audio plug-in went to shit the other day so that's been a thing but anyway today after you guys voted for it we're talking about me and yearney's childhood toys and what we played with growing up because you know, yeah i feel like that's an unsung actually i don't i'm not even gonna defend it i don't know how i came up with that on the poll it was more of a joke but you guys <laughs> voted for it so uh <laughs> that seems to be the case yeah. every week <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i was like thinking about it and I was like, you know what? Like I have so many fond memories of my toys growing up and being a lonely kid who didn't go out much or didn't have a bunch of friends. Like I had my toys. AKA, I had hell AKA, of adventures. AKA a nerd. Yeah. Huge yeah. nerd. Huge <laughs> nerd. And most of those toys I still have boxed up and put away somewhere. But I figured that would be an interesting subject of conversation because it may be like, you're very similar to me, but maybe you had a different upbringing with toys. Maybe you relied on something else. Maybe you were outside more. Like I was outside a bunch because I had Kyle as a neighbor, but maybe there's a difference between, you know, toys in Holland and toys in America. I don't know. Maybe we could figure that out, dude. Yeah. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's dive into this. What's, what's the, uh, sure. what's the earliest childhood toy you remember being connected to? Wow, this oh this God. this, like this straight pacifier? up this no. Uh, I said remember. If you remember your pacifier, you're fucking galaxy brain. Uh, but I love how I phrase this. Just straight turned into Doctor Phil for a second. <laughs> the thing is, like honestly, um, I talked to my mom about this the other day. Not toys, <laughs> but I talked about how I don't remember shit from <laughs> from oh, my childhood. Really? Yeah, and it's not like a repressive thing. It's just like I never think about it, so it just fades away. Huh. Yeah, you know I mean, like, because <laughs> my mom, of course, because she's getting older, so she's like, oh, yeah, remember when you were a kid and you did this and this? It was really cute. It's like, I don't remember. <laughs> I like, don't remember ever being cute, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember being a child. <laughs> I was I born was... a man. <laughs> I was born looking 50 years old. <laughs> No, but uh, <laughs> I was born a boomer. To be fair, I was looking 30 at 17, so. <laughs> I've legit, like, people have legit thought I was 50, which I think is insane. But Really? Yes. I don't see that. They're just rude or dumb or blind. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck I, them, Yearn. For Fuck sure, them. no, they're not. <laughs> for sure, no, they weren't blind. But um, I remember, like, back in the day, like, uh, something big. Yeah, uh, like one of my main like big toys were of course like Legos. I play with that a lot. Yeah, the big ones or the little yeah. ones. What do you mean big ones or little ones? I had them all. Oh, <laughs> all right, fair enough. A good answer. Good answer. <laughs> uh, survey says my, my, number one answer on the board. My my favorite was like um, it's like Tropical Island or whatever mm -hmm. that like I could create, and then also uh, I had a bunch of ninjas. Ooh. So I'd put them on the tropical island. <laughs> nice. That so was cool. That's just like this is the perfect crossover. Absolutely. You know? I ninjas in a tropical island. Like I ninjas in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian That's ninjas. A <laughs> That's a movie I want to see, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> when Japan wants to invade Hawaii, they send their most destructive force possible. <laughs> the ninjas. <laughs> And they're all like worried how like their ninja mask is gonna fuck up their tan. You yeah. Know? 
And then they run into <laughs> these like Polynesian warriors who are just ready to fuck shit up. Yeah. Turns out, oh man, hey, ma they, they hey, miss man. Hawaii and they turn, they end up on the Isle of Samoa. Yeah. One of the ninjas gets demasked and it was a Hawaiian all along. The betrayal. He was undercover. <laughs> he was undercover. <laughs> under under the cover of night as ninjas do uh no but <laughs> I, I played with legos a bunch and then um we we had action men i don't know if like you know action about that? man or action men action man i but i guess like you could so say familiar. action action men because i had multiple action man <laughs> like oh, there's different versions. I had an action man. So, Holy shit! It was kind of like GI Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, had yeah. one, dude. Over here, I think he had like, uh, I think he had a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. He definitely had a show because I remember the show, dude. Oh, dude, there's one with him with a fucking bitch and mustache. Dude, I had one of him like with like a husky. What? The one I had had yeah. a scar on his face like this one. Yeah, look, Dude. Action Man Husky. You can actually look that shit Dude, up. Dude, Action Man, so fucking cool. Dude, thank yeah, you dude. for bringing this repressed childhood memory back to me. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. You had that cool, like, Action Man logo tattoo. Oh, my God. This is getting used for cover art. Is, I am <laughs> so happy yeah, right now. I'm making a note of this Action Man, because I wonder if I still have mine. Because I only had one. And then he would fight my G.I. Joe. <laughs> That's another ultimate crossover right there. Yeah. Well, I think Was it on Hawaii with ninjas involved? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, gee. At the at the end of the day, they're like Action Man and G.I. Joe realize they have to team up to take think... on the to take on the ninjas oh, man. on Hawaii. Dude. <laughs> Somebody call Spielberg. We got a movie. <laughs> oh yeah. But uh yeah, back to the Legos. I had, um, I guess, my first, besides like this little like space gun I had when I was a kid that I saw a picture of the other day that I was like, I love that thing. What happened to it? Probably got thrown away. Um, my my go to toys, like when I was real little, were always like the Legos, like these big Legos. Like one Christmas, I got this. It was like the size of me. It was like this fire truck case that had wheels on it and you had platforms at the top that you could put the Legos on. And it was just the big brick little, uh, big, like the big brick Legos, not too big. Like, I don't know, like the, not the big ones that you could like build a castle and put yourself in, but like, uh, they're definitely <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the size above little Legos. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. and dude, I played with those things for a good solid, like decade. I still have them too. Cause my niece played with them. And then my mom, uh, when she kind of outgrew them, was like, uh, do you want me to keep those? And I was like, if you don't, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get rid of any of my old toys because either my son's going to appreciate them or I'm going to appreciate them again when I'm old and senile. So, Yeah, fair enough. Or now, I, I, or now. I, I mean, like, I'm, I'm a hoarder in general. I don't really get rid of shit. Really? Overall, yeah. Hmm. So we're going to talk about that's going to be a, a poll topic as well as Ernie S's Ernie hoarding plus the show hoarders, <laughs> especially the show hoarders. Yeah, I love that show. Um, I mean, I've barely ever seen it, but, but yeah, sure. ev eventually my Lego fascination evolved to little Legos, and I've got like a couple Star Wars kits and stuff like that. Like, I still have like Anakin's, uh, uh, like it was a Y wing. It wasn't a Y wing. It's X wing. I guess X wing. It's, yeah, it's Tie Fighter. Yeah, it's Tie Fighter. <laughs> I have Anakin's Tie Fighter little Lego set actually, like right next to me. Right. I now. mean, that should be Darth Vader's Tie Fighter. You mean, right? It wasn't a Tie. So not Tie Fighter. It was before. It was when he was still Anakin, not Darth Vader. The yellow one. Oh, okay. With R two. From All right. episode. Three. Yeah, I guess I guess that's in like X wing. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, Anakin Skywalker's Delta 7B. Starfighter oh. Delta, it says here. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. Starfighter. Maybe that's the one? Like with the yellow you said? Uh, That's Obi-Wan. Starfighter Delta's Obi-Wan's. Uh, what? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker. Uh, didn't, didn't they both have those, though? So mine was from here. 
uh, I'll open my kind of tab. I'm gonna send you a link to it. It's literally the exact thing. Okay. So, so click on that bad boy. That's literally this the set that I have. Oh, okay. Set. Oh, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor is what's yeah. called. All right. He's so bad. He's such pretty, a badass Jedi. Oh, he gets an rad. interceptor. Yeah, that's pretty rad, bro. Yeah, it's hella cool. Except this I, one's slightly I, different because R two doesn't come all the way out. He's just the only the top of his head is available. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I mean that's pretty accurate though. Yeah, because yeah. that's how that's how R two is in the in the Jedi interceptor. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's. A I started weird. watching. Uh, I started watching the last season of the Clone Wars today. By the way. Oh yeah, that's why you're yeah. not streaming. <laughs> yeah, I I dig it. I'll probably be the same. <laughs> I was like, I got, I got to watch it because like, the, the thing I was actually thinking because like I was still like in season six, mm -hmm. like when I started today, right? I was just like, I want to finish season six today. Like I haven't had enough time lately to just like binge clone wars i gotta take one day to binge clone wars and now like i'm like halfway through the final season hell yeah so it's are you gonna right. go into the next show after that yeah i'll watch rebels after yeah, rebels. That. <laughs> so after did you let's see were you a wrestling figure person as a kid did you no not really? at all not at all no so i had the ring and the first ones I had were Jericho and Stone Cold, but I never played with them because I didn't think they moved very well and they were too big for the ring. Like the ring to, to action figure size ratio is so off that as a kid, it bothered me. <laughs> so I would play with like my Power Rangers and my Batman action figures, which were all considerably smaller and they fit perfectly. And so I'd have matches with those. I, I had Power Rangers as well. Ooh. Like I had like Power Rangers, like robots. You know what I mean the Zords, and like, yeah, yeah. So you could like put them into each other and make like a big one. Yeah, dude, the Zords. Those like I didn't have those as a kid. Uh, I wanted them. Always wanted them. We'll probably go back and get them at one point when I'm a man with a reasonable income. Yeah, um, but I love those. I would always like the commercials would come on before the show. I'd be like, they're so cool. And like I had a handful of the action figures, but once uh, there's this. One friend of my mom's, who's I'd go over their house every so often and hang out with her son. We weren't really friends, but it was like a play date thing. And yeah. he had the white tiger zord, and I loved it. And I would always play with it. And you couldn't really find it anymore. Uh, and oh, then I, dude, I just found the one that I had. Oh, send it to me. Yeah, yeah. And then it's called it's called the samurai mega zord. Oh, okay. That was from uh, some later editions. All right, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> I play with that shit so much, dude. I'm going to send you the one I'm talking about. But eventually he outgrew it, and they were going to get rid of it. And my mom was like, hey, like, if you're going to get rid of it, like, AJ would probably love it. He, he doesn't talk about He talks about it all the time, always asks to get one. So they, like, gave it to me for, like, 20 bucks or something like that. Oh, hell yeah, dude. And I have it set up next to my, like, green and white Power Ranger paraphernalia over in the corner of the room. <laughs> I like dude holy there, shit like, it, it goes new now for 400 bucks <laughs> holy fuck insane. hold on I'm sending you this the the link and the price and everything cause I, I got a piece of fucking memorabilia on my hands apparently definitely don't have the box definitely don't have that sword in his hand oh that one's cool too yeah yeah. and then you could get yeah, you the rest of the Power Rangers stuff it would attach into him just like in the show yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like, like that's what that's why with the samurai mega sword as well, but like I am missing like the the headpiece, like the samurai helmet. Oh, so he's just walking around blind, fucking shit up. Yeah, no, I mean, like he does, he does still have a face, but no helmet. You know what <laughs> I mean, because he's just like, I don't need this fucking protection, dude. All right, <laughs> dude. I'm, now I'm looking up on eBay how many of these like have sold and what they sold for. Dude, I remember, uh, like, like I did, I did a Dokkan stream the other day, big surprise. But uh, I'm back. Like, so, so, somebody, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Who knew that I played Dragon Ball Z Dokkan mm -hmm. Battle? But somebody was in my chat, like a like a Dutch guy, and he was like, "Oh, are you ever thinking about like streaming? You like opening Dragon Ball Z like card packs? You know what I mean, oh. I was like, I don't really, I was like." I don't really collect those, man. Like <laughs> a big appeal for me for Dokkan 
just being able to like play with the characters and seeing like the sweet ass animations and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know I mean, and he was just like, yeah, but if you get a good card, you could you could probably sell it for like a couple of hundred bucks. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> Hey, yeah, you know, that, that, that might be that might be something I need to look into. I was like, "How much is a pack?" He's like, "80 bucks." I was like, "God damn, 80 bucks! <laughs> That's a lot for a fucking card box." Yeah, Jesus. Apparently, like it was something like that. It's yeah, it's insane. <laughs> but that I told I told you about that like on another stream where I saw like somebody do like Pokemon card yeah openings and they got a Charizard and they freaked the fuck out. So. Not long. It ago. is cool, I think, because because I think that's a, something you probably had as well. It was Pokemon trading cards, right? Absolutely. So, as we talked not, about, yeah. kind of for a second in board games, I was yeah all up in Pokemon as far as collecting. I still have all of them. They're like next to my bed in like a binder. Yeah, yeah. I, have a, I have a bunch of them as well. I just don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that would also count as like one of our childhood toys, is like the collecting because that's that really hit off. Uh, uh, and yeah. became big when we were kids is yeah, different yeah, yeah. card collecting games like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, uh, Magic. Although it's not necessarily card collecting as much as it is, you know, buy, buying and building decks very specifically. Once you get more into it, but I I did get a bunch of Dragon Ball Z trading cards back in the day. I well. I within the past year saw like Greetings and Readings, which is a bookstore here in the states. That uh, yeah, I know. Why was AJ in a bookstore? It doesn't make sense. Uh, <laughs> that they were selling like they have for some reason like next to some of their like mangas they have like a bunch of like anime action figures and memorabilia and stuff and they were selling dragon ball super card game pack so i bought one just for shits and giggles yeah it was pretty neat i don't That's know cool. what, yeah I don't, I don't know where it is now though it was a 20 dollar purchase and now i couldn't tell you where it is so now, <laughs> now I, I kind of think it's only, that 20, I, it's I, only like 20 bucks though so. yeah but i kind of now regret the decision like because even at the time, I was like, do I want to waste 20 bucks on this? I was like, I don't know. Maybe I get into it. Maybe I get a good card. Maybe it'll be fun. I could decorate with it or something. I was like, yeah, sure. I'll do it. Man, it's, I don't, that's, I that's a tell thing you where though, it like, is. That's a danger with that stuff. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, same as goes with Dokkan. Because like, I told you like with the board game stuff as well, like my first Pokemon trading card pack, I got a like shiny, like victory bell. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I still remember that to this day. And it's that still made me go like I gotta get more of these. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, a, I mean, it's like, addicting. It's, yeah, it's a fun rush. Like I would definitely, if there's a card game out there now that I would still be able to play with some, like I guess Magic. But my issue with Magic is like all the major card games is eventually the cards cycle through and some aren't legal anymore and you can't use them and they decrease in value or go up or however you want, however it goes. And, like, to me, that was always, like, oh, it's just a huge money grab. Like, I want to be able to play with my cards forever. Like, Yeah. So, I don't know, guys. No, maybe the chat can tell us. Is Pokemon, like, I know Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> still has a bit of a following, and they come out with new cards. Is Pokemon still, like, a big thing? There's a, there's a po Yeah, there's a Pokemon trading card game, like, game, you know, like, software yeah. that you can. But, oh. No, but, like, I, I, I don't mean, like, for the Game Boy. Like, there's a new one where you can, like, play online and stuff. Oh, like the original card game? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. We might have to do and that on the stream I, one day. I, yeah, I think like by playing and stuff, you can uh, like, you know, s like get de uh, packs and all that kind of shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I've I also have both Star Wars Battlefront twos. I'm just realizing as I'm looking at my <laughs> desktop. <laughs> yeah, so what? I have both like Battlefront two. Star Wars games, like the one from 2005 and the one from like three years ago. Oh, hell yeah. Like, uh, I got the Battlefront 2, like the 2005 one for free. And then the recent one I got for like eight bucks from some website. Hell so. yeah. I also got Battlefront 2 from like years ago for free because it was a, yet another game that Kyle just left at my house and was like, okay, I guess oh, it's yours yeah. now. <laughs> fuck yeah. Dude, me and him used to go hard in Galactic Conquest for hours and he would always beat me <laughs> that's a, that sounds like my experience of playing with my brother uh in like call of duty 2 yeah but at least your brother's <laughs> older than you so he's got like he's wiser or whatever else like kyle's like two yeah, years younger than me <laughs> and like he's like i don't want to insult kyle okay so that's so, that, so then it's like my brother's experience with me and tekken yeah 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 that's, <laughs> it, that's, it, that's it let's go with that 
In fact, maybe because like I've been doing this thing, like Tony Hawk was the first one where I've just been going through some of my childhood games and playing on the stream. Maybe that'll yeah. be one of the next ones. Hell yeah, dude. And maybe I'll go through like Galactic Conquest. Maybe I'll get like Kyle over here and we can like play it together. Ooh, Kyle, the legend. Dude, he's he's legendary. He's man, for being <laughs> so much younger than me, he's such a little fucking man. Like he's a <laughs> he's a typical American man, you know, greasy, likes to work on his truck. Likes, oh, an likes, American male. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. He's buff. <laughs> like Scotty Riggs. Yeah, or Buff Backwell. <laughs> I don't know why Scotty Riggs is the one that popped in my yeah, head. Yeah, the, the two of them. You picked the <laughs> Marty Jannetty of the American males. <laughs> which, which is saying I, a lot. Dude, I respect it. I respect it, to be honest. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, fuck. So now, now man, because that was definitely part of my childhood. Oh, another thing. And me and Kyle actually talked about this the other day when we squatted up on Warzone. Uh, and this isn't necessarily count as a toy. I mean, consoles kind of sound like a toy. I just don't want to go back to back when it comes to the podcast. But another thing, which is a big part of my childhood, was like when I got into middle school and he was in elementary school, we drifted apart just slightly because like we were still neighbors, but like age difference is like kind of like exasperated when you're in two different schools. Yeah. Um, but then once he got to middle school, every day after school when we got off the bus at the same time, we would just go to his house, and at the top of his house in his attic, it's completely furnished, but no one would go up there. So we'd go up there, get on this huge TV, turn on the PlayStation, and we'd like play Tony Hawk's – uh, no, not Tony Hawk. We'd play Tiger Woods P uh, PGA Tour for hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? He made this like ridiculous-looking character called Mr. Sir, and I would just pick some generic character, and we would just like – try to best e Sir. yeah we would just That's try awesome. to we would just try to best each other at like pga tour and what's awesome is like we're awful so if you keep playing poorly the commentators just say me really mean things and sometimes they say some kind of inappropriate stuff too it's really funny i remember playing uh fifa back in the day with my brother and then we would play we would play it with dutch commentary just because it cracked us up <laughs> because we were like this is so fucking lame <laughs> why is the yeah. dutch commentary so lame just because the dutch language is lame oh yeah okay. you know i mean like it's uh it's hard to explain to somebody that doesn't speak dutch dude i can <laughs> all day long i got you <laughs> Okay, not, not to be rude, it was an inside joke between me and Yerni. Yeah. Just, I've always commented that in that language, I could never do the proper pronunciation of words because I can't get some of those sounds, and that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, so, like, like I just, like, the the word that, like, me and Ahmed always use to, like, describe Dutch translates in English to old-fashioned, okay. which I guess is, like, a really weird translation. But it's just, like... I don't know. It's like really proper, but in a blunt way. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that makes like, there's no like entertainment value in it. So like <laughs> that makes it super whack for commentary. <laughs> so yeah, that's just kind of it, I guess. Fair enough. Fair but, enough. But I remember like my, like my brother would like, when he would play by himself, <laughs> he would uh <laughs> yeah okay sorry he would uh <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm so tired and i've had so much caffeine and i'm crashing hard <laughs> oh okay fair enough but um he would always play with english commentary because okay. he liked the english commentary because they like they have way more like emotion because you guys bleed red white and blue <laughs> yeah i mean we didn't put on american commentary Oh, okay. so oh, so proper English commentary. Yeah. So not real Brit English commentary. British no. commentary. It's also another thing yeah. Kyle does is he likes to say that he speaks American, and then I like to get really mad about it because it just makes my blood boil. <laughs> like for everybody on here who thinks like I'm the ignorant American, which at times I definitely am, I have a low tolerance for like some of the Americanisms that I've discovered now that I've traveled a little bit more, and, and <laughs> Ky Kyle does all of them. <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> yeah and he thinks it's funny too because also sometimes like i'll say something but like kind of like in proper english it almost sounds like i'm asking a question um, yeah and he'll stop and be like are you asking me something like is this a i was like no i just that was a statement he's like the way you 
the way you said it though, like the infliction on your voice, I was like, what did I, I pronounce the words properly? Like, I don't understand. And he's like, no, it's just, and then he gets mad. He's like, you know what the fuck you're doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, well, you know what? No, that's fair enough. Uh, speaking of favorite childhood toys, uh, Kyle, because yeah. he was my best friend throughout like the time he was born, which was when I was like three, uh, yeah. all the way up till now. Like he's my dragon to you, I guess, in a sense. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, I mean, I mean, me and Dragon were childhood friends, but oh, right. okay, fair enough. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like well, in the sense that if I'm not around, you've got Dragon. If you're not around, I've got Kyle. I guess in that sense. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, and so, like, we, man, we did everything together. We'd go out. We'd play outside all the time. We, again, our properties touched each other. So, and they were just divided by trees. But like, we ended up cutting a hole in the trees mm -hmm. so we could just easily walk through to, into each other's backyard. Is <laughs> uh, so some kind of innuendo, AJ? No, 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 no. Although. <laughs> Your uh, properties touching each other, yeah, you going in, <laughs> into each other's backyard. So, although this this will be funny because I didn't live this down for a while, um, we would like we'd play cops and robbers, whatever else. Like I was American, we had a bunch of toy guns. It is what it is. Um, like like your brother Kyle, his entire childhood wanted to be a sniper when he grew up, and just Hell fucking yeah. take people out, which was kind of disturbing in retrospect because <laughs> uh, he talked about it a lot. But uh, yeah, but that's kid shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. In America, we really like over justify and, and get gratification from violence. So like that's our childhoods, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I feel like that's kind of the deal over the entire like Western hemis hemisphere. But yeah. God forbid we see a booby. But God damn it, give me a gun. <laughs> um, that's our childhood. Lord, give me a gun. <laughs> <laughs> the boobies were made by devils, but God made the Remington 500. God damn it. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> anyway, so we were playing one day and I would just leave stuff at his house, his backyard, no big deal. Like I get it the next day. Um, but one day he, he came on the bus in the morning. So like, I think we came on on different times. So I must have just became a freshman in high school, and he was uh, eighth or seventh grader in middle school. So I was on the bus already. Then we went to middle school to pick up the middle schoolers because in America, or at least in the, uh, Maryland, uh, middle school and high school rides the same bus. Um, okay. So I'm already on the bus, and then he gets on, and the first words out of his mouth are, hey, AJ, you left your handcuffs at my house last night. <laughs> 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 and the entire bus is just like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dude, do you know what you just said? And he's like, yep. <laughs> and I'm like, you son of a bitch. Turns out it was true. They were attached to the slide because, like, I don't, I don't know how that happened. But, uh, we, you know, we're playing cops and robbers and shit. Handcuffs are going to be involved. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and for, like, the longest time. If you, play, if you play cops and robbers without handcuffs, dude, you're a bitch. Well, I don't know, like, as you can tell, not to make a political joke, but as you can tell in America, like, cops aren't usually going for the handcuffs first, so. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but. But you got to show these cops how it's done. It's yeah, true. You, you at, play cops and robbers. At, at, at a young, young age, I was like, no, sir, we are not using firearms in this game. You will obey the law. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I was embarrassed by that. I was a high schooler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this little, and then like people would make comments on the bus for like years, like, "Oh, I remember when Kyle said this," or like, "There were oh, I remember there was this girl I had a crush on. Her name was Chloe, and she rode the bus when she moved." And every once in a while, she would make the joke and like joke with me about it, and I was just like, oh, damn it." Uh. I mean, you could just went like, "You want to try him on sometime, <laughs> girl?" Dude. I'll show you a picture of high school. I'll show you a picture of high school AJ. I didn't have that swagger. I don't have that swagger now. Oh, I have I didn't have that swagger in high school either. I don't think you have that swagger now. It's more blunt. <laughs> yeah. I think that's it's part of my swagger. It's more so you walking up to a young lady and being like, I'm gonna tie you up. How you <laughs> how you feel about that? <laughs> no, come on. I respect women way too much, AJ. Uh, you know that. Are you gonna ask them if they're aquatic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or they just happy to see me. <laughs> I'm waiting yeah. for the next transition for you to be like, oh, so my next uh, childhood toy was uh, I had a lot of girlfriends or something horrible <laughs> like that. 
No, because <laughs> I mean that is a really good joke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I will give you props for that. But you should you should know because I've told you like I've never had a girlfriend. It's true. This is true. So <laughs> I would just be lying, yeah. and I would I would never lie on the internet. Yeah, I mean, no, who does that? No. Yeah, I mean. How? <laughs> How dare shame. Shame shame knows your name. Yeah, dude. But um Yeah, besides that, like as far as toys go, I think like it like it it would just transition back in the video games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. And like and I feel like we've covered that. Yeah, I mean, our, our, <laughs> generation, our generation had two different like uh something sticking out the bottom of my desk. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh uh, nice dude. Our our generation had two like big not epiphanies but uh, phenomenons happen where trading cards and video games became a lot more of a mainstay and a lot more accessible like not so much the cards as much as the video games because like home consoles back when our parents were kids were few and far in between you only played pong and they're pretty expensive but yeah but now like now they're more so expensive but they're more readily available parents are more likely to buy them uh a couple generations ago, when they start really getting big, they weren't all that bad, like maybe 200 bucks or something like that. Um, so, like, a lot of us stopped playing with toys and going outside and stayed in and looked at cards, got no sunlight, and played the video games. Yeah, I mean, like, I remember, like, I, like, I kind of got bullied for it, like, back in uh, back in elementary school. Anyone bullying you baffles me, let alone hearing about you getting bullied in elementary school. Yeah, I mean, like, Stopped at some point because <laughs> I punched like him. No, I choked him. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking hell! The dead like man the... delivery really made me uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I choked him. Yeah, I mean that's, that's what happened. Like it was like the the main bully, you know, who would just like always bring it up that I would play video games, which apparently was something like to mock me over. I just like I grabbed him with two hands by the throat and I choked him. Oh, and then everybody stopped. So <laughs> good for you, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Not surprised by that, but thrown off a little bit. I just am picturing a, a young you still, still with a mustache, uh, <laughs> just course. choking a life out of a kid. Yeah, dude. Make fun of Dynasty Warriors again, motherfucker. <laughs> What you say about Tekken? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so, so as much as like, uh, probably to my dad's dismay, I grew up like more of a techie, nerdy kid. Once video games and stuff became more prominent and stuff like that, like yeah. I still ended up playing outside a lot because again, Kyle and also my dad. Yeah. My dad actually made I'm... me toys as a kid. Oh, oh really? Uh, my dad's right. a master carpenter, so whenever we had spare wood or whatever around, which we have all the time, like I've been building shelves to prepare for Kelly to come here and like make my room a little bit better because like I got all the spare lumber. I got a garage full of tools. I'm kind of like, I know how to do this shit now. Um, but when I was younger, my dad would like make us like little swords and daggers. And he actually made me like a fake rifle out of wood. And like, it all looked really good Fuck and, yeah. and he would stain it and he would paint it and stuff. And then you would LARP. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We smacked the <laughs> shit out of each other with those wooden swords. Like you, you, yeah, you would play like the fucking the North versus the South. <laughs> okay, we didn't reenact the Civil War. <laughs> no, no. Come on, dude, that's cool. You but got to dress up. Maryland's technically a Southern state, so I'm sure my dad would come out the back door and be like, "You better put those stars and bars on, God damn it!" <laughs> not really. My dad's my dad's not really like that, but <laughs> <laughs> stars and bars. You haven't heard that? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that also reminds me, like, some of my dad's little isms, I guess. is when, uh, At one point, like, Kyle used to be, uh, before he was a hardworking man, he used to be, like, very athletic and on the football team and, and lacrosse and stuff. And for some reason, one year, he for the lacrosse season, he, like, shaved his head, so he had this big mohawk. Oh, nice. And, like, he showed up to my front door. And this was a reference to the movies featuring Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh but he like knocked on the door and my dad was like, Oh, the last of the Mohicans is here for you. 
<laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> not getting the movie reference? Yeah. <laughs> and it's not even the right character, but like, at the, but I was like, what? And then I opened the door and like Kyle had this mohawk. I was like, oh, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Yeah. Oh, the last of the is here for it. <laughs> yeah, cut to this day, Kyle was my neighbor for like, let's see, when did he get married? I don't know. Let's go with, he's, let's see, 26 years old. For like <laughs> two decades, me and Kyle were neighbors. And maybe a little bit less than that. And yeah. he's still insists to this day. He's like, yeah, me and your dad have had all of like three conversations. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've talked to his parents and ate over his house a bunch. And like now, like if I'm like go to help Kyle with work or something, I mean, it's sometimes just me and him and his dad on the job site. And me and his dad will just chat around and pal around for a bit about whatever, and he'll teach me stuff. But like Kyle has been has had all of like a dozen words spoken to him by my dad. <laughs> Here's the thing, man. From what I've heard of your dad, I think exactly the opposite would happen if I met him. Yeah, <laughs> I think he and I would like hit it off like immediately. Yeah, it's <laughs> it would be it would be like he him and Kelly hit it off really good. Like he really likes Kelly. Uh, oh, okay. And well, it's because she's a psycho too. Yeah, 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 for sure. But uh, that's definitely <laughs> the reason. But I feel like you would like chum it up and get all into the American side of stuff and things that you wouldn't get yeah. to do normally and be like, "Fuck it, let's go." <laughs> yeah. You want to blow shit up in the backyard? Yeah, I do. Bro, you got a rifle? You want to shoot it at the burnt-out car? <laughs> Come on. Like... We, don't have a, we don't have a burnt-out car in our backyard. <laughs> oh. We do have, now I'm disappointed. We do have a bullet trap, though, so we do have, like, a little mini-range, so that mm -hmm. is a thing. Dude, I remember, like, I remember when I went to America, like, as a kid, like, when I was 12, because I have a lot of family in America, right? Mm-hmm. And then we went there, and every time my family wanted me to like shoot guns, I was like, "No, like, <laughs> I don't want to shoot guns." First time, I'm a 12 year old kid. <laughs> first time, yeah. first time Kelly was here, my dad was like, "Why don't you teach her how to shoot?" <laughs> I was like, and "Also, my dad doesn't sound like that at all. My sound, dad sounds like a normal person. He doesn't sound like a hillbilly. I'm just obviously making a joke, but." Uh, yeah, but, 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 in my imagination, he sounds like a hillbilly. <laughs> yeah, but he does. He speaks very properly, but uh, not to Damn it. not to ruin the illusion. But uh, it does ruin it. But like I, a lot. I did teach Kelly how to shoot, and she was actually naturally a very good shot, which scares the shit out of me. <laughs> well, she's not naturally a good wrestler, so oh, she's gotta be good at something. All right, <laughs> all right moving on. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, so my dad made me toys as a kid, so which was pretty cool. And I still have a lot of them, actually. Like, I went was in the basement rummaging through stuff trying to find something, and I found, like, one of the, like, mini rifles he had. And he had this old scope from an old rifle that got gotten rid of, and he put it on it. So, like, I had this amazingly accurate, like, wooden-stained rifle with a real scope on it. Hell yeah, dude. I was just make-believe sniping Kyle out of the backyard, like, for hours. What about paintball guns? Did you have that? You had airsoft, right? No. What? Airsoft, the little BBs. Let me actually. Oh shit! He must. He must have heard me. Kyle literally just texted me. <laughs> airsoft. What the fuck? I'm getting shoot guns over here. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I definitely did not have those. I had water guns, dude. Okay, we had those as well, but then. Uh... <laughs> middle school early high school me and kyle both got paintball guns and oh man we had so much fun so we would go outside again most of my childhood toys are like i guess more than i thought outside toys let me go over it real quick the majority yeah, of my childhood it. i was inside playing with wrestling action figures or just generic action figures that i would make wrestle or i was playing with legos that was it now back to the fun story so <laughs> me and kyle got paintball guns and me, him, I think his sister sometimes, uh, a buddy of ours, maybe my buddy Wyatt, and his older brother Chad would like all play. And sometimes we would play at night, so it would make it even harder to see. And 
then one night I just remember his brother running around one of the trees and then Kyle surprising him. And then all of a sudden just hearing screams because <laughs> from like five feet away, Kyle shot his brother right in the dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he was just on the ground. He's like, no. Like, and, and we're like, oh, are you okay? He's like, you literally got me right in a testicle. <laughs> like no, like flat, like straight on. Not even like around, not near, not on the scrot. No, one of the testicles <laughs> has been bruised. <laughs> and of That's course, incredible. we're like, oh, these are the I, best toys ever. <laughs> I remember one time, like I was at a buddy of mine. He had like, you know, those guns that like shoot like those like foam cylinders. Yeah, yeah, Nerf guns. Yeah. So like he had one of those. We had those, and but then, they weren't as violent. So. <laughs> yeah, like I like I like I like I never had one of those. Okay. But um but he had one of those. And it was just like, yeah, I'll show you how it works. And then he he like shot it at the wall, but then it ricocheted back like on his leg. He's bah, fuck <laughs> <laughs> he just completely fucked himself up. Oh. <laughs> Dude well, Kyle's I was just like, man, it seems to work great. Yeah. Kyle's older brothers were real dickheads and something you can do with paintballs to really make them like hurt. Which I don't know why you would yeah. want to do because naturally they hurt anyway. But <laughs> is, to make them hurt even more. Yeah, you put them in the freezer, and then oh, what? they just don't break. <laughs> oh, so, they, so like I, this, I wasn't there for this, and we didn't do this with Kyle because we're not little fucking <laughs> demented assholes. But his older <laughs> brothers, once when they were playing, like froze the paintballs, and then they loaded them up and they shot one of them in the neck. <laughs> just <laughs> fucked his world up hell yeah oh, i remember that oh man we fuck we played with weapons at night a lot there was one night where i was like so let me paint the picture um his house is in the middle of like an open grassy field and then once you go like kind of behind the kind of the house a little bit that's when the trees start and everything so i'm out in the field in the pitch black just laying down flat waiting for someone to come across or move in the trees and one of his uh parents come out to like ask him if he wants something or like a drink or, or whatever i don't know what it, but uh they come out into the porch and to see the whole field or whatever to see up into the backyard more they turned on the floodlight which is not just a regular porch light but this big light that really lights shit up so yeah. here I am laying in the middle of the field flat and then the floodlight comes on and now you can see me clear as day and I'm like, oh, fuck. And in a split second from the time the floodlight comes on, you hear complete silence and then just pew, 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 pew. And I just, <laughs> I just start getting lit up from every direction and I just start, ba just start bolting it across the field to try to get behind the house because I am fucked. Hell yeah. I've never actually played paintball. When you come to America to visit one day, if if America still exists after all this pandemic stuff is over, <laughs> uh, we'll play. I still have my old paintball gun. It would be easy to rent one or get another cheap one. It's fun. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. It, it's fun. And it's yeah, I, I bet it's fun. It's something like I've always, like, I wanted to do. It's, like, just never came about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, I actually, like, like, there's been, like, loads of times where, like, with different groups of friends where... We've looked into doing it. It just never worked out. Yeah, and it's a bit more <laughs> yeah, expensive I mean. when you like go to a place and like rent stuff. And yeah, all. but like I got a bunch of equipment here stashed away somewhere, and to get another one isn't isn't too bad. And like to get the paintballs themselves, you get a huge box for like twenty bucks. And you that that'll last you the day. Hell yeah! So it's fun. It, you know what? Like me and my brother also had. We uh, <laughs> you'll probably like this actually. We got like um, plastic, um, <laughs> like fucking. I think it was like stylized as like ninja stuff again, mm -hmm. but like class plastic, like foldable and unfoldable sticks. Oh, which basically means lightsabers. Hell yeah! <laughs> so, oh, okay. So you got like generic off-brand lightsabers. Yeah, exactly. So we got like like we both got the double blade one because we both like love Darth Maul. Hell yeah! And then like we would fight and like fuck each other. <laughs> yeah, dude. I had uh, I had lights. I had like mine were brand name. You know, no no big deal. But I had <laughs> I had lightsabers as a kid, and I remember like uh, I had my dad bought me Luke Skywalker's one. Ooh. And then he got Darth Vader's. Right. 
And oh. every once in a while, we'd have like a little fucking father son fight. And then I remember one time, and he would beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah, there was no mercy. It'd be like it'd be like hot rod. <laughs> Not quite as violent, but to, as a kid, I thought so. <laughs> but I remember once I was in my sister's room and we we're like, I don't remember what we we're doing. Like it was the night before Christmas or something like that. And the lights were off. And then I heard like footsteps come up the stairs. And we're like, what the fuck is that? And then all of a sudden, like a dark figure appeared in the doorway. And all of a sudden, <laughs> like, just like in some of those TikToks, like the red glow came from the lightsaber. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it's like Vader in Empire. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, he's just standing there with a the lightsaber. <laughs> and then my dad viciously beat me half to death with a red lightsaber. So that was great. You, no. are, you are strong in the Force, <laughs> but you are not a Jedi yet. <laughs> he probably said something right? generic. Like that. He, To be honest, he probably said that line or something along that line. Like my dad's, so, my dude. dad's the one that got me into Star Wars. So he, he like, he, yeah, like, yeah, he would yeah. be start like having all. I've heard you talk about that because, like, I, I remember your story of like you guys going to see Phantom Menace. Yeah, and then, and then, and then him telling you like, yeah, this is what I like. I saw this movie like when I was a kid, you know, like like in theaters, and <laughs> yeah. you were like, "That's not possible, you idiot! There's a new movie." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, you "Fucking just lied to me! I'm not that yeah. stupid." <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like I'm kind of bummed out, like. Neither of my parents are into Star Wars or anything, right? Uh -huh. And my like my brother's not super into it, but uh, <laughs> like, but so so I I never had that with my dad. Oh, okay, you know what I mean, no like worries. my dad was never actually the Vader to my Luke. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> or I'm, the, so, I'm so sad for or you. Or <laughs> or I like I was never the the Anakin to his uh nothing. No, well, I mean, <laughs> his, Anakin his had Luke, so uh, you, you... yeah, but I mean, like Anakin as the son. Okay, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like he didn't have a father, you know. what I mean, he is Jesus. <laughs> yeah, <He's> space Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he is, yeah. dude. Like something that's like completely like overlooked that I don't think gets talked about enough. Is that basically George Lucas made his own version of Jesus? Yeah, and he ma he made that version Way slaughter ki children, <laughs> <laughs> and like oh, all the fuck. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh wait, oh never thought about then, that. Never realized that. Wasn't ready for it. And the thing is, what's cool about it? No, like christian person has ever like raised an eyebrow about it you know what i mean like they're all like yeah that's cool you yeah know? <laughs> i don't think i don't think they realize yeah i don't think they've made the connection no, but <laughs> not at all. that reminds but yeah, me that i don't i think that's metal as fuck dude that reminds me that eventually my because i had darth maul's slight tipper too eventually the Darth Vader one got broken, but then my dad accidentally broke the Luke Skywalker one, and I got very upset. And he's like, "I'll buy you a new one, like relax." And he got me Qui Gon Jinn's, which was like cool. Oh, it was like super cool. And you then got Liam Neeson's lightsaber. Yeah, and then my little bastard cousin a couple years later broke it over my shoulder, swinging that thing <laughs> like a fucking million miles an hour, and wrecked isn't, me with it. Isn't it possible to now at like Disney World or Disneyland like create your own lightsaber? Yes, it is. I definitely want to do that. I want to do that too. Like, it's, uh, it's probably expensive as fuck. Kelly always talks about uh, traveling down to Disney or all that kind of stuff uh, with some friends. Like when she's here, and I'm always kind of like, "Oh, that's like, really expensive. Maybe like we'll make it happen one day." But then you just reminded me of that, and I'm kind of like, "What day will be best? How do I, <laughs> how do I make? How do I? Oh man, because that's cool as fuck. Like the Star Wars stuff they have they, that down there is amazing. Yeah." Like I want to, yeah, I want, I want to see that for sure. Like I remember, um, cause, cause I've, I've went to what, what does LA have? Disney World? Uh, I don't, I think or Disneyland. I think Disneyland is California. Disney World is Florida. Okay, cause they have like Space Mountain and stuff, right? Like I, don't I thought that, that was Ric Flair. <laughs> I thought Ric Flair okay, had Space AJ. Mountain. Okay, AJ, you fucking got you. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like I remember going on Space Mountain and stuff. Like that shit was fucking tight, dude. Oh man, I've never been to uh, Disney anything. Oh my god. Or Universal. Universal Studios, I want to go to because I got the dress. Universal is dope. Have you Universal been there? is dope. Yeah. God, why have you been to all these American things that I haven't? 
Because you never go to California. True that. True that. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Which is the place I've been a couple of times. So. Oh no, man! Way to brag about it. Been to my, yeah, dude. been to the West Coast. Oh fuck! I've never been to the West Coast actually. Yeah, dude. I've been hanging and banging at Gold's Gym and shit. I mean, oh, dude. <laughs> the Mecca, mm. as they call it. No, but like I went to Universal with um, Chong and Kid Lux. Okay. So, which was, it was, dude, it was fucking weird. Cause like we went there, like we went there like pretty early. So like we knocked out like all the rides, yeah. like super fast. Right. And then you just have like this like tour kind of thing that takes you behind the scenes and just shows you like basically movie magic shit. You know what I mean? Like they show sets and all that kind of stuff and how they created some stuff. Show like this giant ass blue screen, which is insane. Um, so, but like, so we were done at Universal like pretty quickly because we just like, we were there so early, it was so empty that we got to go into everything like straight away. Um, I remember both of them just like after the tour being like, yeah, that was really disappointing. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? It was awesome. <laughs> you know, like that's just all those like sets and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that shit's fascinating to me. Yeah, that's incredible but i guess like they didn't really give a fuck so i was just like you know what fuck you guys i mean <laughs> and i just left i just don't get I was it just like, i was just like i've had enough of this i'm okay out of here <laughs> yeah you guys may have hated that tour but i thought it was pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but uh yeah I, I thought it was super fun yeah like yeah they had the jurassic park ride and stuff which was cool that does sound dope yeah. Yeah, dude. So we're almost. I love amusement parks, dude. I like most things about them. They <laughs> certain rides uh, are not for me. Yeah, I heard you on the stream yesterday, yeah. dude. Not a fan. But anyway, <laughs> we are about an hour in, so this is that point in time where we open it up to three questions from our lovely viewing audience on. Like Hell yeah. what you guys On uh Twitch. Yep. Yeah, what what three questions you guys have for us about anything or more particularly about our childhood toys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like so I had the show on Saturday, right? In Kutenholz, like the open air one. Yeah. And then Jenny took a bunch of pictures and posted them, which were really good. Hell yeah, Jenny. And I was and I was also just like, Man, I'm not as out of shape as I thought I was. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because fucking pandemic kind of got to let loose, got to be a little loosey goosey. Yeah. Um, but I was just like, all right, like it's not, it's not too bad. And then somebody else just uploaded pictures. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. But then I looked and I was like, oh man, like even a me looks bad. So maybe it's just the person's pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, like. Yeah. Like Jenny, do even when, like even like when somebody as like uh ripped as rotation doesn't look ripped yeah you know? i mean maybe he got a pandemic gut too yeah sure dude course, like, <laughs> i think that's physically impossible that's for true. that's true our boy axel well, of course big shout out to ctmt photography who does take amazing pics at our shows by the way yeah absolutely uh man there's uh can't find a single question that isn't just a <laughs> fucking comedic piece of gold, apparently. Or at least, <laughs> at least in the eyes of the individual typing it. Uh, <laughs> let's let's go with Y2 Julian's because at least like we can give an answer to it in a sense. Uh, you ever found your mom's toys? Did she had lights have lightsabers too? Hmm. No, I never found any of those. No, no never looked, never found, never just no. Ew. I think I, I definitely think I looked. What? But I never, yeah, I never, I never, yeah, dude, you, ne you never fucking snoop around your fucking parents' bedroom? Dude, never, shit? never looked in my parents' bedroom, but me and another individual once looked in his girlfriend's parents' bedroom. We all did, as like joking yeah. around because they were gone for the week. Yeah. And we found some shit. Yeah. I remember, like, me and my brother found Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 in our parents' bedroom because Whoa. it was like, oh. It was a Christmas gift, but <laughs> dude, how, I don't get, dude, I don't get it though. How do you guys? How did you, how do your parents use that for sex? <laughs> <laughs> I 
You just play it to get the mood going. Oh, your dad's, your dad's like, straight smashing button combos. Yeah. <laughs> it's just foreplay. It's just yeah. foreplay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Any? Let's see what else other ones are there. Uh, how, yeah. How? This point is really an insert CD. Easy as that. Yeah, exactly. Julian gets it. It's not rocket science, AJ. I'm not going to lie. We okay. have a bunch of questions. It's not all of them I can say. <laughs> that's a thing. I mean, I can say all of them. I just don't think they're good questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's pretty much where I'm going with this. Yeah, but yeah, I guess people don't want to ask questions. So. That's, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. We'll if you guys don't want to know about boys and their toys, we will get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Because I got to edit yeah. this together and immediately put it up because I'm backlogged on work to do before I leave anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, Wait, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Good one. Okay. We'll one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Amr says, fuck, Mary, kill, Chichi, Bulma, Master Roshi. Okay. Um, kill Chichi, fuck, Master Roshi, and Mary. <laughs> what? Bulma. Oh, I was going to go with uh, fuck Chichi. Dude, he's like, dude, he's got the fountain of youth. Uh, I want that pervy old man dead. Fuck, uh, uh, kill Master Roshi, marry Balma, obviously, money and looks. I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, she, you that, could, that you'd be rich for life. For well. That's that's why Vegeta married her. Uh, yeah. Because Earthling money. Um, <laughs> and then uh, fuck Chi-Chi. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'd still say kill Chi-Chi. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't disagree if, with if, your it, reasoning, but. If Turtle was an option, I would marry Turtle. Oh, yeah. Turtle's a sweetheart. <laughs> I love Turtle. I fuck that pig, too. <laughs> Oolong? <laughs> yeah. Fuck the, fuck the shit out of Oolong. Fuck Oolong. Kill Poir. <laughs> marry Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So on that note, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining me this week. Uh, we're going to be live again. I think I, I'll be able to make Friday work, depending on me and your schedules. If not, it'll be Thursday. And then while I'm away, don't worry. Podcasts will still be going up on the YouTube. We're going to bank a fun one that will split into a two-parter yeah. for while I'm gone. So thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Love you. Love you.